Elon Musk didn't need a splashy announcement to initiate what could be Tesla's biggest turning point since the creation of the first Model S. All it took was a phrase thrown out almost at random. We have the lowest cost per kilowatt hour. Simple, direct, but loaded with implications. Behind this comment lies the seed of a quiet revolution, the definitive replacement of lithium with sodium. A change few noticed immediately, but which should change the game for electric mobility in the coming months. The decision wasn't a whim or empty innovation. It has such deep economic, geopolitical, and environmental roots that they seem to have been ignored for too long. Over the past three years, the price of lithium carbonate has exploded by more than 300%, rising from a mere $13,000 per ton to over $70,000. That alone would be enough to set off alarm bells at Tesla. But the problem goes beyond inflation. About 75% of all global lithium refining is concentrated in China, and virtually all LFP batteries, the industry's darlings, are also produced there. Dependence is so high that any geopolitical tension can shut down entire factories in Berlin or Texas. And, as if that weren't enough, Extracting lithium requires more than 500,000 liters of water per ton, devastating entire regions of South America and Australia. Tesla, which has always positioned itself as a leader in sustainability, found itself trapped in a dirty and unstable supply chain. This led Musk to publicly acknowledge that the company's biggest obstacle was not demand, which remains high, but battery production entire gigafactories operating below capacity not due to engineering failures, but due to a lack of raw materials. That's when sodium, an element largely ignored for decades, entered the scene as the unlikely hero. Easily extracted from soda ash or even seawater, it became the logical solution for those seeking unlimited scale. Unlike lithium, which is limited to about 100 million tons available on the planet, sodium is the sixth most abundant element on Earth. This means it's possible to design enough batteries to power every car, motorcycle, bus, and truck on the planet without logistically or ecologically collapsing. Tesla already projects the production of up to 158 GWh globally with this technology, of which at least 20 to 30 GWh will be allocated solely to its own electric vehicles by 2026, Scalability, in this case, isn't a promise. It's an ongoing plan. But the most compelling argument may not even be the volume. It's the cost. Adopting sodium could shave between $5,000 and $10,000 off the final cost of each Tesla electric vehicle. This, at scale, would represent around $100 billion in annual savings if the brand reaches its 20 million vehicle target. We're talking about a shift that could alter the entire industry's mathematics. Driving down final prices and putting affordable electric cars in the hands of billions. Literally. Another little discussed but deeply impactful point is that Tesla's sodium-ion batteries are cobalt and nickel-free. In other words, besides being cheap and scalable, they're also free of materials linked to conflict zones and violent mining. This strengthens Tesla's image as an ethical company, even without having to raise flags at environmental conferences. Tesla simply nips the problem in the bud, replacing scarce and toxic materials with abundant and safe alternatives. This is where the shift begins to take shape. With factories already operational, testing underway, and pressure for cleaner, cheaper batteries, sodium has gone from a theoretical alternative to an industrial reality. Elon Musk, who previously seemed reluctant to abandon lithium, is now accelerating without looking in the rearview mirror. And the most curious thing of all is that the general public has yet to grasp the scale of this shift. But within Tesla, there is no longer any doubt. The future is not lithium. It's salt. The heart of Tesla's new sodium ion battery beats with chemistry that seems straight out of science fiction. Within each cell, nanoscale microstructures work intelligently, rearranging sodium atoms during each charge cycle. When one of these tiny channels wears out, neighboring ones spring into action, 
releasing repair compounds that literally rebuild the internal structure in real time. It's as if the battery has its own immune system, capable of healing minor flaws before they become a problem. This not only extends its lifespan, but also completely redefines the concept of durability in an electric vehicle. In tests conducted by Tesla itself, these batteries managed to maintain 95% of their original capacity even after 12,000 complete deep charge and discharge cycles, something no lithium battery has even come close to. To put this in perspective, this is equivalent to half a century of continuous use without needing replacement. And there's more. The energy density of these cells already exceeds $250 BWARC, rivaling the best lithium-ion versions. Unlike them, sodium batteries don't suffer from overheating, internal corrosion, or chemical instability. They are, at the same time, simpler, safer, and incredibly smarter. What's even more striking is the charging speed. Thanks to a technology called quantum channels, sodium ions can move at subatomic speeds within the cell, drastically reducing waiting time. In internal tests, a module was able to go from zero to 100% charge in just four minutes and 32 seconds, a time so short it defies even the known laws of thermodynamics. And the most curious thing is that the faster the charging, the cooler the battery stays. This is the opposite of what happens with lithium, which heats up and degrades under intense load. This thermal immunity is what could put Tesla light years ahead of any competitor. During endurance testing, the new cell was subjected to extreme temperatures and even direct contact with flames for 90 seconds. While traditional lithium batteries explode in less than 15 seconds under the same conditions, the sodium battery remained stable without combustion, without releasing toxic gases, and without risk of fire. This means that, in addition to being durable, it is virtually accident-proof. Tesla, which has always sought to eliminate the stigma of danger surrounding electric cars, now has a solution that not only overcomes fear, but redefines energy security. And it's not just about safety, it's about longevity. Tesla estimates the new batteries can last more than 20,000 cycles, around 2 million miles driven. That's equivalent to 50 years of daily driving without significant loss of performance. In a world where cars are replaced every 5 to 10 years, that number sounds absurd. But that's exactly what Tesla is pursuing. The end of planned obsolescence and the birth of a truly evergreen vehicle a machine built to last generations. The secret behind this longevity lies in the modular design. Each cell is built to operate autonomously, detecting and adjusting small electrical variations before they affect the entire system. This creates a collective self-regulation effect, where faults are corrected internally without external intervention. Tesla internally dubbed this concept regenerative architecture, and the result is a battery that literally balances itself, preserving efficiency and stability over decades. Beyond robustness, there's the economic aspect. Manufacturing these batteries is extremely simple. Unlike aluminum ion batteries, which rely on exotic materials and complex processes, sodium batteries can be produced using iron and salt, abundant, cheap, and safe materials. Production costs range from $80 to $90 per kilowatt hour, less than half the cost of advanced alternatives. This paves the way for a new generation of truly affordable electric vehicles, sustainable not only in terms of their design, but also in terms of their final price. This self-sustaining chemistry and ultra-low cost don't just represent a technical advantage. They represent the democratization of the electric car. For the first time, Cutting-edge technology isn't reserved for the elite or wealthy countries. It's born popular, scalable, and ready to spread across the planet. And it's precisely here that Tesla begins to turn the tables on the entire industry, showing that the electric revolution isn't about luxury, it's about access. With the new sodium battery, Tesla is approaching a goal that once seemed utopian. 
manufacturing a complete electric car for just $15,000. And this figure isn't an exaggerated estimate. It's possible precisely because the materials used are extremely cheap, iron and salt, literally. When comparing this cost to aluminum ion batteries, which range between 150 dlarn and $200 per TDW, the difference borders on absurd. And if we look at the complete package, this could translate into savings of up to $10,000 per vehicle without compromising performance, safety, or range. It's a direct impact on the automotive industry's cost structure. These numbers quickly translate into scale. If Tesla truly achieves its goal of 20 million vehicles per year, this reduction represents around $100 billion in annual savings. Such a colossal impact that it completely changes the company's dynamics, expanding its profit margins even with lower prices. But it's not just about money. By abandoning the use of cobalt and nickel, materials associated with aggressive mining and conflict zones, Tesla is also cutting ties with dubious ethical supply chains. It's a change that, besides being economic, is profoundly political and moral. And that's precisely what makes cars equipped with sodium batteries so revolutionary. They're designed for everyone, not just tech enthusiasts, nor just premium customers investing in $60,000 or $70,000 cars. The goal here is different, to create an electric vehicle that anyone in any country can buy. And this completely shifts the focus of the energy transition. Exclusion is gone. Accessibility is in. Elon Musk has already made it clear that Tesla's true impact will only come when electric cars become as commonplace as smartphones. And this technology makes that possible. This affordability goes far beyond the purchase price. Maintenance and recharging costs also plummet. With batteries that last half a century and don't require replacement, car owners eliminate one of the biggest expenses of today's EVs. And with a fast charging system that promises to fill the battery in minutes, the convenience surpasses even that of gasoline-powered cars. Added to this is the fact that the car doesn't rely on fossil fuels, and the cost of ownership over 15 years can be $60,000 lower than that of a Honda Civic. It's an advantage that transcends technological appeal. It's above all practical. This is where Tesla begins to redefine the market. While other automakers continue to focus on luxury models and high prices, it is preparing to launch a car that costs less than a Corolla with a range of over 400 miles and a battery that can last a lifetime. This model is no longer a prototype or an idea on paper. It already has a name, Model 2, and what it promises to deliver is a paradigm shift. A vehicle with superior performance to combustion engine cars, but at a lower cost. The equation, which once seemed impossible, is now technically feasible. The shift also alters the public's perception of what an electric car is. Until recently, these vehicles were seen as expensive, fragile, and with limited range. Now, with the arrival of sodium batteries, this image is beginning to crumble. The average consumer is beginning to see the EV as a smart, durable, and affordable investment. And that changes everything. From this point on, desire no longer stems from status, but from logic. Why pay more for a gasoline-powered car that consumes fuel, requires frequent maintenance, and depreciates quickly when you can have something better for less? The new landscape is also putting pressure on governments and companies to accelerate their own electrification programs. While the obstacle previously was the high cost of batteries and the scarcity of raw materials, this excuse now disappears. With abundant sodium and simpler production processes, the infrastructure needed to popularize EVs can be built much more quickly. And this applies to both developed and emerging countries. For the first time, a truly global electric car is entering the scene with a real chance of reaching any street, neighborhood, or highway in the world. The tremor becomes an earthquake when the impact reaches the assembly line. The Tesla Model 2, a promising compact car, already boasts a range of 435 miles, 
over 700 kilometers on a single charge in its internal tests. That's more than any gasoline-powered car in its class can achieve. But the real shock is the total ownership value. Over 15 years, it could cost up to $60,000 less than a Honda Civic. Math that once seemed exaggerated is now practical. And it doesn't stop there. The sales price is projected to be under $20,000, making it the most affordable car in Tesla's history. While the Model 2 positions itself to displace combustion engine compacts, the Model 3 and Model Y receive quiet but devastating updates. With the introduction of sodium batteries, both are expected to achieve ranges between 550 and 650 miles per charge. This margin simply eliminates the infamous fear of running out of battery. The concept of range anxiety is beginning to fade from consumers' minds, replaced by a new confidence that any journey, no matter how long, will be completed without worry. This represents a paradigm shift as significant as electrification itself. Beyond range, charging time also becomes a weapon. The new generation of batteries allows for 0-180% charging in just eight minutes. That's less time than many drivers spend at regular gas stations. This means that, in practice, stopping to fill up your Tesla will no longer be a hassle. The experience becomes nearly invisible, seamlessly integrated into your daily routine. This advantage places Tesla in a territory no other automaker has achieved, offering greater comfort, greater fuel economy, and greater performance, all at the same time. And when you look at pricing, the situation becomes even more aggressive. Tesla could launch a new Model 3 for $29,999 and a Model Y for $34,999. These prices crush any attempt at competition. This creates a virtually insurmountable barrier for companies still reliant on lithium-ion batteries and more expensive ones. Even with government incentives or specific discounts, the gap between Tesla's costs and those of the others will be enormous. The difference ceases to be technical and becomes mathematical. And in this math, Tesla wins hands down. The domino effect doesn't stop with passenger cars. Tesla's commercial lineup is beginning to benefit directly from this new technology. The next generation Cybertruck, equipped with sodium batteries, promises to achieve 700 miles of range on a single charge. This represents the possibility of driving across the country nonstop. And since the battery's lifespan is up to 50 years, we're talking about a vehicle that can operate for a lifetime without needing cell replacement. This radically alters the vehicle's value over time, transforming it from a consumer good into a durable asset. The Tesla Semi, on the other hand, is in a league of its own. It promises to be able to travel 2 million miles, the equivalent of over 3 million kilometers, without a battery change operating 24 to 7. This capability makes the current logistics system based on frequent brakes, constant maintenance, and trucks with limited life cycles obsolete. The savings for transportation companies and delivery networks could reach billions, opening up an operational advantage no other manufacturer can offer. And it's not just on the roads that Tesla promises to make its mark. The new sodium batteries will also be used in megapacks for energy storage,